Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I will be showing my Notion setup. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is the background and the icon image. So over here, this is how my dashboard looks like. So over here in the background, I went to the change cover and then went to unsplash. And over here, you can type all sorts of things and a lot of things will pop up and you can choose any from them. So I chose this photo over here because I thought it was pretty aesthetic. And then over here, I have this plant photo. So I did the same thing. So you can also upload an image, you can post a link and the image will pop up. So I uploaded an image. So now let's talk about the home dashboard. So if you guys look over here, there's three types of dashboards I have. So first let's talk about the home one, which is basically all my personal stuff you can say. So over here I have different types of tabs and in them are different types types of categories so over here the first one is gold and in goals i wrote long-term goals 2021 goals so over here i wrote like goals that i want to do the ones in progress and completed the next thing is adventure like um where i want to travel or in the future and all like that so here are just some examples and now the next thing is future. In future, you can write down a 10-year plan, a wish list, an emailing, and things to check out. So over here in a 10-year plan, you can write down all your future achievements or goals that you want to accomplish. And then over here in wish list, you can write things you want to buy. So let's say I want to buy uh, some scissors, and I've already bought that, so you can drag and drop to the purchase bu uh, area. And yeah, and then the next thing is emailing, all the things you have to email. And then we have personal. And personal here is a daily routine you can add. So over here, there's morning, night, and daily habits. So, and then we have finance, which is like your money tracker, you could say, or your income, or basically um, your finance tracker, you can say. And then the next thing is reading shelf, which is basically an organized area where you can list out all your books you're reading and want to read in the future. And then we have health and in health we have fitness. And I really like this because you can track your like your weight, you could say um, the video, the video name over here, for example, you can watch and learn. And then over here, here's the exercise tracker where you can um, track all your exercise day by day and you can also use um, tables and like that so then we have recipes recipes over here you can write the name and then over here I'll take you to a page you can write the rating the website link you got it from preparation and ingredients and over here is a whole table to try so yeah that's pretty much it so over here is the type the link and yeah and now let's go back and the last thing we have is reflection in reflection here's a yearly timeline for 2021 specifically so over here you can write down all the highlights of each month just to have a little look back of what happened in each month and yeah so and then um here it's organized in a beautiful rainbow type thing so i thought it would be really cool and cute so yeah so over here is just, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, and now the next thing we have is diary plus mood tracker. I call this like a diary, you could say, except a digital one, where here in there's a calendar. And then in the calendar, you can, for each date, you can open up a page. And let's say you can write highlights of the day. And then you can write whatever happened. Like, for example, what I'm writing down right here on the screen. So like that, you can write all different types of highlights that happen each day. And yeah, that's basically it. And then the next thing we have life advice. Over here, you can write now inspirational quotes or motivational quotes or all that stuff. Basically advices. Okay, so now we are done with the home dashboard. And over here, right on the bottom, we have this pl cute plant photo. I'm pretty obsessed with plant photos lately. I don't know why. But anyways, let's go on to the next one, which is 
student dashboard. Now I find this pretty helpful. So over here there are four um, categories and each when you click on it, it takes you to a page. So the first one, this is um, from another study tuber. So you guys can check out her account. So I wrote it on the screen. So we'll just go straight into the next thing, which is weekly plan. So here you can write down all your plan out of the whole week, what you want to do. Basically, um, a mini to-do list and schedule com combination, you could say. And then we have the weekend and yeah. And then here's another one you can write. Like the other one could be a student one, like all school stuff. And this one could be like an after school one. So yeah, you guys can organize it the way you guys want. So the next thing we have is daily journal. This is basically a diary, same thing for each day. So uh, when you click on the word, it'll take you to a page and you can basically do your diary and all that stuff. And yeah. And then the next thing we have is random links. So the te let's say your professors or teachers send you links that you want to keep, but you're not on the right moment to like do it. So I have this page where I put all the random links and then later on in the day, I sort it all out. And yeah, and then we have a plant photo. And let's go on to the last thing, which is content dashboard. Now, not many people use this, but for content creators like me and others out there in the world, like study tubers, they might need this. So over here, we have Instagram posts. So this is like a schedule for specifically Instagram only, or you can make a Pinterest account only and like that. So over here, we have the status, we have the post idea, the date, when to post it, and the type. Is it a real um, a post in general? And yeah. And then we have pages on the side. And so the first page is collaborations and brand amb ambassador applications. And then the next one is tips and notes, all the things that's in your mind. You can write it down over here and then later on fix everything. So yeah, basically a draft. And then over here we have goals, brands I want to work with. And we have subscriber milestone. Guys, get me to 100k. I mean, yeah, definitely get me there, but at least get me 1k. Come on, guys. Okay, now let's go back. So if we go back, then we have description copy paste. So this is like the description part. You can write it out all over here and then copy and paste it on your video description. So it's basically an easy kind of thing. It helps a lot. Then we have comments. Comments I want to keep that are really nice and I want to use in future videos. So yeah, I keep them all over here. And then the next thing we have is affiliate code. So over here is the brand name, the discount, and the code. So over here you can basically not forget anything and have a whole nice chart on it. So yeah, here's just an example. And then it would, uh, downer we go, we have expenses. So this is your expense tracker. So like video editing stuff you could say. The cost fan, the date when you bought it, and the t uh, what is the actual thing. So yeah tracker then we have a youtube photo and right beneath it we have a checklist before publishing which i really use all the time and then we have a try where let's say you're done with the goals and like that no more or tips and notes you don't you just drag and drop it will be saved and it'll have less clutter <clears throat> and the next thing we have is video planner so over here we have like a video plan schedule for youtube so over here in video plan we have planning so what am i planning what ready what's red next day film filming and filmed so yeah and then we have video ideas and then in video ideas here's a little sneak peek what i'm gonna make for you guys so over here are some things i decided so you can list it out and yeah so over here we have video planner this is like a video plan schedule you could say of the whole year so yeah, and then the last thing we have is sponsorship, just like affiliate codes here is another table specifically for sponsors, uh, sponsorships. You can write the name, the date, the price, the subs you gain from it, and the platform, and the type. And yeah, that's basically it. So, and then we have like a photo beneath it. And that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, consider subscribing and hit this video a like comment down below to the question of the day which is in the description box below so check it out okay and